All righty. Well, hi there, everybody. It's time for more 1908 baseball. We've got the uh, Chicago Cubs and the Cincinnati Reds. Cubs come into this with a 2-0 record, and uh, the Reds are 0-2, of course, because these two teams have only played each other. I have a slightly different setup here for you uh, today, and you'll probably have to excuse me for looking over to the side a few times here and there um, as I check the uh, dice roll. Um, this is a different setup, a little bit uh, different to get used to as Johnny Ebers leads it off. And um, he gets a little uh, ground ball to shortstop, and that's the first uh, out of the game here for the Cubs. Do a tinker now, and I'm going to have to do that a couple of times, I think. Tinker gets the base hit and is caught stealing with the next man up, and that's Frank Chance, who is on deck, and that is uh, two away here in the early going for the Cubs. And we'll see how this goes. Um, the glare is still a little bit bad on this. I still have to put the uh, uh, shades here on the window to um, stop you from, or to allow you to see what the dice rolls are. Frank Chance gets a base hit. Uh, base at the left field, and then uh, as Johnny Clean comes up, Chance takes his um, chances with uh, stealing a base, and he is successful. And uh, here comes Kling, and he gets another one of those good rolls. He's able to hit hit the ball over to a left field, and that will score Chance, and Kling then likewise is able to steal second um, as uh, Jimmy Shepard is up there. And it's one nothing Chicago just like that. And uh, Shepard takes the walk, and uh, boy, here comes Harry Steinfeld, and this game can get out of hand in a hurry. Strike three to Steinfeld, and that does that. So uh, Campbell is able to get out of the inning, but now the uh, Reds have to face Ed Ruhlbach. And uh, Hans Lober gets a little ground ball, maybe, and it is going to be a little ground ball over to shortstop, and that's the first out of the uh, bottom of the first inning. Miller Huggins now, and he strikes out, and that's two away. And here's John Gansel now, a little uh, ground ball to third base, and that does that. And here comes Wildfire Schultz up for uh, Chicago, and he is going to go deep, and he gets a double to right center field, and here come the Chicago Cubs. Jimmy Slagle up next, and you know what time it is. It is time to bunt. Slagle gets the bunt down to third to first base, um, and the uh, putout goes Gansel to Huggins, and there's one out now. Infield will come in. Rulbach, not a very great uh, hitter, so we will uh, bunt with him. And uh, Rulebox is going to end up, or not Rulebox, but um, uh, Slagle is going to end up being uh, thrown out of the plate um, as part, or uh, Schultz, that is rather, uh, as part of the uh, rundown. And this might be a uh, key play here early on in this game. Um, so uh, the uh, play here goes, uh, the bun goes over to Gansel at first. So it goes uh, from Gansel to Schlee back to uh, Lober to third, and then back to Schlee as part of the rundown. And that's two outs now. Rulebach is able to make it to second base. Nobody really paying much attention to him. And here comes Johnny Evers now. And that's a, a little 31, um, which um, uh, scores the runner, the base hit. And then Evers is thrown out trying to steal second. And so a little bit of excitement here in the uh, top of the uh, second inning is 2-0 uh, Chicago. And uh, the Reds coming up. And Pascar gets a little fly ball to left field. And that's the first out. And uh, Kane now, the little ground ball back to Rulebach. That's the second one. And uh, there's a little pop fly by Mitchell. And uh, that is uh, caught over there, second base by uh, John Evers. Here's Joe Tinker again. Tinker gets the base hit, base hit to left center field. And uh, here come the Cubs, and they're going to do a hit and run. And uh, Frank Chance um, uh, winds up taking a strike. Tinker able, though, to um, steal second. And you know the reason for this, and I'll show this to you, is that he has, look at that, he has an 11 there on 15. Because he has that 11 rating, um, he winds up being safe in his stolen base attempt. Uh, because what happened is Chance missed the uh, pitch. However, Tinker is then caught off of second base, and that does that for him. What an adventure that Joe Tinker's had out there on the bases. Trying to do it all himself, Chance gets the base hit and then tries for another stolen base. And this time he is caught. That's two away. Cubs with seven hits, only two runs so far in the ballgame. Johnny Clean then pops up that one to a lower to third base. Nothing new. And bottom of the third inning, and uh, Holswith is up there, and he uh, hits the ball over to Tinker, who uh, boots it at uh, short. And uh, there's a runner on first base. And then uh, Schlee and Rulbach is going to lose him for a walk. And that puts runners on first and second here with uh, nobody out in the uh, bottom of the third inning. A Campbell coming up, and it is once again Bunt O'Clock. That's exactly the dice rolls. You can see that 66. That's exactly the dice roll you want to bunt on, right? The bunt ends up being a good one. It goes down to Chance at first. He makes the play, um, uh, lobs the ball over to Evers, uh, the second baseman covering first base, and there's one out. And uh, the Cubs going to play with the infield in. Hans Lober, though, is going to swing away. There's no need to bunt here. 
um, and we probably should have bunted, is uh, that ends up being a little fly ball over to Pasker, and there's two away now for Miller Huggins. Huggins uh, gets the fly ball over and up to Slagle, and that ends that. No hits yet for the Reds, top of the fourth inning, and Jimmy Shekard um, is going to come up and show them how to get a base hit. And that's a double for Shekard, and here comes Harry Steinfeld, um, and uh, 2 nothing game. We'll let him swing away. We might as well. A um, little ground ball to uh, second base to Huggins over there. He makes the play, and um, they're going to play with the infield in on him. Uh, we're going to let uh, Schultz swing away as well. And it's a good thing that we did. There's a single, and he scores the runner. That's the third run of the ball game. And Schultz is thrown out, stealing two away now. And that brings up Slagle. And uh, Jimmy hits a little uh, ground ball over to Huggins, and that does that for the uh, top of the fourth inning. Bottom of the fourth inning now, and John Gansel comes up. My apologies for hitting the camera. Just trying to stop that from happening here, and it looks like I was unsuccessful. There's a little ground ball over to Tinker at short. Has one away. Do it pass for it now. And uh, Rulebach loses him as well. That is um, the uh, second walk of the game for Rulebach, who only has one strikeout. And here comes John Kane. Still no hits for Cincinnati. And uh, Kane puts an end to that. There's the first base hit of the game. And here's Mike Mitchell coming up now. Uh, Mitchell coming up, uh, one out. And I'm going to take a quick look at Holdsworth and see what we're looking at, thinking about whether I bunt here or just swing away. We're going to actually swing away with Mitchell down 3 nothing. And it's a double play, four to six, six to three, and that goes Evers to Tinker to uh, Chance, and um, it's not quite as poetic, but it uh, gets the job done as well. Here's Rulebach, Rulebach, little uh, ground ball over to uh, Lobert at third, and that's one away. Here's Johnny Evers now, and there's a single to center field by Johnny, and we're gonna play hit and run again. These Cubs love to run, don't they? And um, Evers ends up stealing second base, and uh, Tinker now. Still up there at bat, and um, he gets the single to right field that scores the runner, and up comes Frank Chance. Now hit and run, baby. Keep running and run all day long. That is an 11, and uh, now here comes the second column. And it's a six. There's the double to right field. That scores another runner. Five, nothing now for the Cubs. And the Reds are being rocked all over the ballpark, and the fans are starting to boo. A little ground ball to the first base, and that moves uh, Chance over to third. Here's Jimmy Shepard now. And uh, Sheckard will walk, and here comes Harry uh, Harry Steinfeld. Sorry, it's a two. I can see that because um, totally missed everything with that one. Steinfeld gets a base hit. Here's Wildfire Schultz now six to nothing Cubs. Schultz will strike out, and that will end that. Holtzwit now up for Cincinnati. Cincinnati has not had any offense at all today. And uh, he gets the 62, and up comes a little E um, system, and uh, it's going to end up just being a little ground ball over to Chance. First, one away. There's Schley now with a little ground ball to a second base. Huggins makes the play. Two away. I'm sorry, not Huggins. This is uh, Evers makes the play. And there's going to be a little ground ball back to uh, Rulebach, and uh, that will be that. So we're going to leave Billy Campbell in there. That's kind of what we decided um, there a second ago. I don't know if that was the right decision or not, and time will tell. He promptly gives up a base hit to Jimmy Slagle, and here's Ed Rulebach. And uh, Rulebach now um, is going to hit into a double play, it looks like, and uh, that is exactly what's going to happen, 6-4-3. to four to three. A little ground ball over to Holswith, who goes to Huggins, and Huggins goes back to Gansel. And uh, next batter up is Johnny Evers. Gets the base hit and the stolen base. 15 hits for the Cubs today. And I'm looking a little bit um, silly for uh, not doing a little bit more with that. And uh, that is uh, one of those rare plays where uh, Tinker winds up stealing third, and he goes home on the wild play, wild throw by Schley. And uh, it is seven to nothing now, and this game is a complete laughter. And there's a single by Joe Tinker, and we can't we can't stay with this anymore. We have to take Campbell out. Um, I mean, there's just simply no way that we can we can keep this up. Uh, right now we're going to display the card. We need somebody who can come in for the long term. Spades p uh, pitches tomorrow, which means it's going to be Bill Tozer who comes in. And uh, this is one of those problems that you have, right? This is 1908. This isn't yesterday. This isn't 2022. This is 1908. We don't have a whole lot of relief pitchers here on any of these teams. Uh, Chance hits a little ground ball to uh, short, and that does that. At the end of that inning, uh, the uh, Cubs manufacture another run, 7-0, 16 hits for the Cubs in this one. Lober gets a base hit and steals second on the next one. You know that small ball important now with a 7-0 game. And uh, Huggins is going to go deep. He gets the double, and that scores one, and they finally get one off of Rulebach. 
And uh, Gansel now with a little uh, ground ball to third base. That's hit in front of Huggins. He can't move up. One away now. Another one. Pasker now hits one over to third base. Two away. That's a good job by Rulebach. And uh, that last one is a little uh, ground ball to you where the first baseman chance makes the play on that one over to Rulebach. That does that top the seventh inning. And uh, we rolled a little 12. That's going to be a uh, ground ball to a shortstop. And uh, there's one away for the Cubs. Shecker now, a little, uh, foul, a little uh, pop fly over to Holtzwith now. Two plays in a row for Holtzwith. And um, here comes Harry Steinfeld. Uh, apologies, we'll roll that again. And uh, he ends up with a little ground ball to uh, Gansel at first base. And so just like that, we're in the bottom of the seventh inning. This has been an exciting game, a lot of action, um, but it's all been one-sided. A little fly ball to center field does the first one, and there's Holswith now striking out. Admiral Schley now up there, and he strikes out as well. Well, those Cubs ha uh, bats have been uh, calmed down by Tozer here so far, at least. Wildfire Schultz comes up and hits a little ground ball over to Lober to third, and that's one away. Next batter up is Slagle, and uh, he gets a base hit, but... Um, for some reason, is deciding to steal, um, and despite the fact that they're up by six runs and he's the number eight hitter, um, and he is thrown out. Rulebach takes a ball. That's what 1908 is good for. Lots of stolen base chances, some successful and some not so. And there's a little fly ball to center field. That will do it. And um, up comes Tozer now. Tozer is going to hit for himself, and you know I'll talk about this later on in the blog. But um, when you really study 1908, you'll realize that um, this wasn't really that uh, rare. Tozer gets a little ground ball over to Evers to second base, one away. Lobert, he grounds that one over to Tinker, two away. Rulebach, still a B, and the reason why is that Q0, and he's got those good ratings. A little pop fly over to Holswit, and that does that top of the ninth inning now for the Cubs. And uh, Evers, now he walks. You think we should send him? We don't need to. Tinker's going second column. Tinker's gets the double. Evers is going to score, of course. Eight one Cubs. And bad pickoff move, and uh, Tinker ends up going to third base. It was tell Tozer to focus on the batter. It's eight to one. And uh, Chance rolls a uh, twenty-five here, and uh, that's a little line drive out to Tozer. Chance is probably trying to, like, knock some sense into him, hitting that ball right back to him. Uh, Kling hits a little uh, ground ball over there to a Lobert, and Tinker has to uh, hold, uh, no chance to move forward. And uh, here comes Jimmy Shepard to score the run. Triple for Jimmy Shepard. It is 9-1, to one, and uh, this game was out of hand a long time ago. Here's Steinfeld, and he gets the base hit. Now it's 10-1, to one. 20 hits today for the Cubs. And there is the final out of the top of the ninth. little fly ball there to Mitchell and right. And here comes John Gansel. And uh, Gansel gets the uh, ground ball to Tinker at short, one away. You ever seen a game like this where all the dice rolls came for one game or for one game for one team, only three hits for the Reds, Cubs with 20? One of those games. A little ground ball there to a chance. That's two away. And uh, with that fly ball over to Schultz and right field, we are done with this game. And just like that, the Cubs win this one 10 to 1. Sure hope that you enjoyed that. I had a fun time with this, just getting used to this uh, slightly new setup here for us. Um, if you like that, hit the like button. Let me know that you liked it. Um, if you hit the like button, it helps with the algorithm, helps other people see these, uh, these videos as they come up. Um, subscribe for more because we're going to have more of these every single day. You don't want to miss them. And uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Are things clear? Can you see it? Are they unclear? Do you like the game? Do you not like the game? If you don't like the game, I hate to tell you this, I'm going to keep playing with NP3 because I like it a lot. It's a lot of fun. It's got a great flow to it. It and um, it's quite realistic as we will see as uh, we move along. I will talk to you tomorrow. Take care.